What's up gamers and this is this is you and I'm bringing you a guide again this time on um the barrows yeah barrows um so what you want to do it with your inventory is really simple uh, I have some reasonably set up here not really too much um, money put into it but um so yeah, I'm gonna explain it now um what you want to do is um, bring yourself a Dragon's Medallion because it's the quickest and easiest way to get to um, yeah to the Barrows. Um, another way to get to the Barrows, um, I think, if you um, let me just check that. Uh, so if you get uh, yeah, if you get 500 uh, total level with all your um, Temple tracking guys here. I'll make a guide on temple tracking, um, but not now. Um, you can teleport to Bergdorot with your gaming necklace. Um, now, way to get to the barrows is with a, a boatman, I think. Uh, and I think the boatman is around here. Uh, it takes up a lot of time, so I definitely advise um, getting the dragon's medallion but even though it has a quest requirement it isn't actually required to do that quest to get there um he doesn't look afflicted uh so um <laughs> yeah it's been a long, long, really long time since uh i gone with the boat so but get the dragon's medallion it isn't really that hard to get you just have to do um all the quests are my reek until you get the medallion and it's like in the beginning of the quest start, you don't have to have the le any levels at all uh, to start that quest just do all the other quests start the quest and in the beginning of the quest you're gonna get dragon's medallion um, I think it's gonna be called mysterious medallion or something and uh, yeah so you're gonna get that medallion and you're get, gonna get um, the Barrows uh, teleport that I know, um, but draw Dart. I don't think you're gonna get Dartmoor or Meredith in the beginning. Meredith maybe, but or else you're gonna get Bergdorot for banking and Barrows for obviously doing the Barrows. Um, so what you want to do is it doesn't really matter which mount you choose first, but um, keep the middle one. That's um, RM. For last, because he's going to decrease your stats. Uh, Varric is really easy, so what you want to do is equip your mage gear. <laughs> no, split bark isn't the best gear, I know. Um, there are way better gears out there, but I just like um, split bark. And what you want to get to um, get some easy money is uh, the polypar staff. It's really easy to get. Uh, well, not that easy to get, but. Um, you can just buy it on a GE, recharge it. Uh, you, if you want to recharge it, you're gonna need, I think, um, yeah, 80 farm farming, or you could uh, request assistance to someone, and um, then he can recharge it for you. Well, you can recharge it by using his levels. So yeah, uh, so you click on the search chest, and you uh, do the barrows. <laughs> Why I don't use prayers here? Um, Verak actually hits through prayers, but if he hits through prayers, he doesn't actually hit you with melee, he just hits you with something totally else. Verak can hurt you for some damage, but won't be that much, so um, just keep an order in health, and if you think it's necessary, like now, um, just heal up a bit. Verak is gonna hurt you, but... He isn't really a tough fight. He goes uh, really fast down with Polypar Staff. Uh, Polypar Staff, uh, you have to set it on accurate. Long range could be good, but I like to set it on. Uh... Okay, now uh, this brother comes from um, a quest actually. So, um, Ritual of the Majorat. Only if you did a Ritual of Majorat, you have to fight him. Uh, you want to. Bit of a mistake for me. You have to uh, if you um, you have to put on the deflect melee, and when he prays against 
Magic, um, be sure to get your spec weapon, spec weapon out. Claws are way better than a, a dragon dagger. Um, yeah, I use poison plus plus, so oh, failed on that one. Um, so yeah, right as he switches, you have to switch to another uh, better weapon, like a whip. Yeah, not hitting too much. Um, so yeah, this fight could be annoying, but when he uh, goes to deflect, uh, me, uh, goes to protect melee, you want to go um, and uh, take him out with magic. Yeah, you could uh, um, change your gear while in while you're battling, but. I don't know, I just don't do that. Um, uh, oh yeah, and you want to turn your quick pr uh, curses on uh, melee, deflect melee, because you're going to need that the most. Um, so, deflect melee, this battle is really easy. Just make sure your um, deflect melee or protect melee, whatever you're using, doesn't fall out. Do you need deflect melee to do the barrows or protect melee to do the barrows? I definitely advise it because uh, otherwise you're gonna need a lot of food, and you don't want to need a lot of food. Okay, so uh, you want to go out the barrows um, thingy, and why am I uh, doing? Why am I uh, busy doing all the barrel barrows? Because Jagex, um, Jagex said um, that the chance to get an item is highest when you do all the barrels brothers. I don't know if it's true because it didn't really do like thousand chests or five thousand chests, but if you do all the seven barrels, barrels, you get you get an item way quicker than if you only do like five or six brothers. Um, from what I've experienced, but I didn't really do that much barrels. So leave it in the comments down below if uh, you know what uh, actually is quicker. Like, do you get an item quicker if you do six barrels, barrels? Brothers, uh, or when you do uh, seven, um, just in chests, not uh, in time and uh, all that stuff, because then it gets really complicated to work it out. You're probably wondering why am I still in mage gear? Well, from experience, I saw that um, using a polybar staff on Kirill uh, hurts him way more than uh, using a whip, which is just ridiculous, ridiculous. Um, Considering that a uh, mate that range of gear should be strong against um, should be strong against magic, but with Kirill it's not really that much. Um, his uh, gear doesn't really protect him from magic. So you want to use a polybar staff on almost every enemy except Arim, because the only um, way you're gonna beat a rim with a polypore staff is if you have uh, like 90 magic or something and you can see I don't have 90 magic so uh, okay now we're gonna go to a rim this one might be a challenge but he really isn't so you saw that I didn't get any um, interface like popping up and saying hey do you want to go in the hidden tunnel so yeah, uh, it's probably going to be here since, yeah, see, uh, you want to set up your gear for a rim because uh, he might just pop out of any, um, out of any uh, direction and just attack you. So you might want to make sure your uh, gear is ready for it. I use melee gear to beat him because, you know, oh, here he is. Okay, this, so you want to beat him. Uh, use deflect melee and just um, mind your stats. I uh, prefer to use um, some super bots to beat him real quick um, and use the uh, DDS. Uh, do you call it the DDS or DD? I don't know. Dragon Dagger um, special so you can uh, beat him even quicker than uh, just beat him with him with, up with a whip. Uh, you want to go and look where the middle, where the middle of the thing is, because in the very middle, I think it's the very middle. You're gonna oh yeah here uh, is the chest, and you want to 
There's a quick guide on the RuneScape wiki if you want to know how, uh, what to do with which puzzle. So be sure to look that up if you want to do burrows. And, um, so, and now you can open the chest. Make sure you're wearing your ring of welts and loot it. They actually go over um, what gear you're going to be needing for... Um, for, if you want to use uh, melee uh, or stuff, because it doesn't really matter that much, because the only one you have to do is um, oh uh yeah, you can uh, just go back and do a trip. The only gear you're actually gonna need for um barrels uh the only barrels bar you're gonna need melee gear for is RM. Yeah um so yeah you can just go back in, rush through it, and. Yeah, that's pretty much Barrows. So my gear, uh, my, but I just want to point out that this isn't uh, an average thing. Uh, it's really worse than average. Um, why am I showing you? Uh, so why am I actually showing you this method? Uh, I actually found out that Chaos Runes are at uh, 107 GP each. Which means that since you can get uh, like a thousand chaos runes in one run if you have the double uh, run if you have the double um, uh, runes unlocked by doing um, uh, the Mortania tasks uh, till uh, hard, all the hard tasks uh, you're gonna get double runes and double runes is really handy because gives you a lot a lot of um, cash you're gonna get thousand chaos runes uh, Bull tracks. You're really gonna get a lot of money out of barrows just by um, collecting all the runes. So I definitely advise you get that before you do barrows. And uh, yeah, that was my really quick guide on it. And I hope you guys liked it. Hope you found it useful. Leave in the comment section down below um, what I should include in my next guide. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.